doing, princess? Huh? What's the princess doing? So we're gonna do a two-part video. One with Daffy. Huh? What's the little girl doing? Huh? What's she doing? And then one with Allie outside. Not outside, but she's staying on the porch tonight. Huh? What's my little girl doing, huh? What? What's my little princess doing, huh? How's that little Daffy doing, huh? Yeah. She's such a sweet little girl. She is a really sweet little dog. Sometimes puppies are just like crazy insane. And she's a little sweetheart, huh? Yeah, and I don't think you're gonna get that big. No, I don't think you're gonna get that big. No, I don't. I think we're gonna be a little girl. We're gonna be a little girl. Yeah. We're gonna be the little girl. I think she's probably only gonna be like 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. How's your little noggin doing, huh? How's that little noggin doing? Hmm? How's it doing? How's it doing, huh? Yeah, how's it doing? I know, yes. Oh, that's my little girl. Oh. Yeah. So Daffy was the one that was trapped. Um, she was one of the other group that they're outside. and <clears throat> We went to try and find the last one, but check the uh, bait piles and nothing got touched so but little Daffy got saved yeah that's the important part that's what we gotta focus on huh we gotta focus on the wins you're a winner oh yes I know I know okay big hugs huh you want a big hug come here you oh come here you we'll give you a big hug okay yeah we'll give her a big hug how's that huh you gotta feel better yeah, you just can't get enough lap time. No. No. See, it was a busy day today. We had a weird poop thing. We had um, we had one that was scheduled to go to another rescue. Because uh, sometimes we'll do rescue to rescue transfers. Um, just for one thing, it's it's a different market. Um, quiet. It's a different market of different adopters potentially. So that's one of the reasons why we do it. And you know, if they have space, um, we'll help them. Unfortunately, we're not in a position where we can help a lot of places, but like Critter Crazy and Bot, no, we help them um, whenever we can. And so we were sending um, a couple of animals out tomorrow. Yes. Huh? Yes. Sending a couple out tomorrow. But it's weird. It, the, the, we've got one litter of puppies that um, they've been fine. Everything's been good. Hey, somehow, one of you guys left. The door got open. Can you put her back out? Oh, geez, sorry. It's okay. Um, Come here, Allie. The litter of puppies. Allie. Hi, Allie. I'm going to do a video with you oh, next. Allie. So this is Allie. So I guess we'll do a two-part video right now. Um, Allie, I'm pretty sure, has an owner. She was found in Devil's Lake. She, uh, I opened the, the door to the- <laughs> You're fine. So Wags and Whiskers is where we're taking them. We had to get a bunch of health certs. Um, she didn't hurt you. No, you just got scared, huh? She looked like the wolf. Yeah, she looked like a wolf and scare you. Yeah, it's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Yes, you are. It's fine. I got you, okay? Um, but yeah, they their poop was fine. And then this morning... It was like, I mean, it smelled like parvo poop so bad. And that was as soon as like Brian came out and showed me the picture because they, t you know, we kind of have it to where we take a picture of it. Something's really weird. And took a picture and I'm just like, oh shit. Came in, tested them for, tested the sample for parvo, tested it for um, Giardia tested it for coccidia, worms, everything else, negative. And then there was another poop.
hoop that happened and it was like literally we couldn't see because the camera didn't show we got to move the camera up a little bit the kennel was blocking it um and got another sample and tested it again it was negative again but smelled horrible so yeah i called the other rescue and just said hey i'm not gonna send this one because you know we don't want to knowing we send out something that's that's sick but they're active it's just it's really weird they're super active um nobody's dehydrated everybody's appetite's good everybody's drinking nobody's throwing up but it's just like it smelled like parvo poop really bad and parvo poop has it's like a fishy smell um just because of the the blood in it from the intestinal lining shedding <clears throat> and that's what it smelled like and that's what it looked like but i don't know and then i ended up taking because like the snap tests are like 20 bucks a piece and i did two snap tests to start with and then we had a couple of different boxes of them so i grabbed one from another box just in case it was like a bad like the tests are bad and tested that and it was still negative and like with the little snap test it'll be like dots if there's one dot that's a control dot and that says if it's a good test or not and then if it's positive one of the other dots will fill in and if it's really faint then it'll be a really you know really really super light dot um but there was nothing so we're trying to figure the mystery out so we switched them um over it's a not daffy it's a different litter but we switched them over to uh cook a bunch of rice up and put some gastrointestinal food in there and some pumpkin and uh kind of waiting to see they can they can do a pcr test at some places to try and determine you know if the parvo concentration is really low and i don't know if that's what it is or not but um none of the vets around here can do that so we're going to take a sample of the ndsu and try and figure out what's going on but they've got no symptoms of anything i mean they're just like wild and crazy little savages so that's kind of been the day um i sat on my computer trying to catch up on stuff and literally was just waiting for puppies to shit for four hours that was that was a solid four hours of my day it was just literally poop watch and then finally one pooped and then uh moved them and then another one was pooping the same way and so we're kind of just waiting to see what happens next um hopefully it's because that's the weird thing too is like with parvo your incubation period typically is 14 days like the longest you're gonna get is 14 days before something could catch it but um it's been 17 days that they've been here and we haven't had a parvo puppy in here for months i mean it's been at least like four months if not more so they wouldn't have got it from here so yeah it's just kind of a mystery you know it could be some other kind of intestinal bacteria thing so we're gonna have um i'm gonna drop a sample off the jill and she's gonna take take one in we're gonna see what's going on with that but so we held that one back for and switched another one um, that's not in that channel so yeah so that's what's going on with that and then we're gonna go and see Allie now yeah that big scary monster we're gonna go see the big scary monster the big scary monster yeah okay no more kiss last kiss for good night okay yeah so we're gonna go see Allie because Allie was found outside of a gas station um, in Devil's Lake and she was picked up taken to the pound and uh, was going to be euthanized and a deputy named Allie took her home so she wouldn't get euthanized and then we got her here but when I went outside we had to put her in an outside kennel for a little while just to uh, make space to try and isolate the puppy. Come here, sweetheart. Come on. I know. That's my good girl, huh? Yeah, I know. That's pee. That's pee all over my leg because you scared that little puppy. Come on. Come here. Come here, Ellie. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Yeah, it's a good girl. She should go away. Um... And she just like jumped in the suburban, like I want to go home. And uh, so I mean, she's been on car rides before. She was in really good shape when we found her. 
Um, she wants to go in the house all the time. So I know this is somebody's dog. It's just trying to figure out what happened. Um, you know, and is it somebody from out of state that uh, was driving through and stopped to get gas and she ran out and went chasing after something? I don't know, but um, I'd love to find her owners because she's not abused and she's well taken care of. Huh, come here, pretty girl. Come here, Allie. Come here. Yeah, it's my good girl, huh? So yeah, um, maybe just in the off chance, somebody will see this and we can get her reunited with the family. She didn't have a chip or a collar on. But like I say, she's well taken care of. And she likes car rides, so yeah. Transport early in the morning, so I'm gonna cut this one short now. Yes, huh, pretty girl, huh? Yeah, I know. Cut this one short, and um, Tatum will probably see you tomorrow, and I'll do a little ending shot on Allie at a better angle so you guys can take a look at her again. Yes, huh? Is that my pretty girl? Yeah. Ain't she the pretty girl? Yeah, is she the pretty girl? <laughs>